Hey everyone, and welcome back to Horror Flicks with Nick. Today I'm reviewing The Cellar, a new Shudder original horror movie coming out later this week. The Cellar tells the story of a woman who must confront an ancient and powerful entity after her daughter mysteriously vanishes in the cellar of their new home. To be honest, I really did not like The Cellar. Through and through, this is a movie that felt run-of-the-mill, uninspired, and uncreative. The Cellar starts just like any other formulaic horror movie, with the family moving in to a spooky house. The family finds the titular cellar, and then immediately the daughter gets locked inside. Early on, we're repeatedly hit over the head with the fact that the daughter and the mother have a very strained relationship. At one point, the mother talks to the daughter about babysitting her brother later that night. The rebellious daughter doesn't want to, and the mom replies, This one is important, okay? It's clear during this take, lead actress Alicia Cuthbert simply misspoke. She clearly flubbed her line, saying okay instead of okay. And that should be fine. Her head was turned from the camera when she said it. They could have easily ADR'd the line or even used an alternate take. But somehow, instead, this flub stayed in the movie. I know I sound like an overly critical, nitpicky asshole, but I bring up this specific small moment because I think it's a great representation of the entire movie. This clear oversight that no one caught at any point, combined with the movie's over-reliance on the most base-level horror cliches, really gives off the impression that The Cellar was not very well thought out and not well executed. I won't spoil the plot beyond what's stated in the IMDb synopsis, but I just have to briefly talk about exactly how the daughter went missing. The daughter reluctantly agrees and babysits her brother while the mom is at a nighttime business meeting at her office. I have no idea what kind of meeting takes place at 10 o'clock at night, but whatever. The mom leaves and while she's gone, the power goes out in the new house. The daughter, who is justifiably very scared, calls her mom. Over the phone, the mom forces the daughter to go into the pitch black cellar in this creepy house the first night they move in with only a candlelight guiding her away. For the first 15 minutes, I thought the daughter was insufferable, but honestly, that is a real dick move from the mom. I am a 25 year old adult man, and even if you gave me a fucking flashlight and a shotgun, I am not going in some unknown pitch black basement by myself. As you could have guessed, it is at this point the daughter mysteriously disappears. And from here, the movie doesn't get any better or more interesting. For an hour, the mom blames herself, she investigates the house, looks for the daughter in the woods, talks to professors, and occasionally goes down to the creepy cellar. The amount of times a character in this movie gets locked in the cellar is just embarrassing. These idiots brought their demise upon themselves. I don't want to be all negative, I will say as a positive, I did like the movie's final 10 minutes. It explored some semi-interesting ideas, it felt somewhat fresh, it was pretty bleak, and all the effects within it looked quite good. But still, it was just not worth watching the previous 80 minutes to get to this point. In summary, The Cellar sucked. It wasn't the worst horror movie I've seen all year, I'll have a review for that movie coming later this month. But the cellar was just so painfully generic and such a chore to get through. I just cannot recommend this movie to anyone. I give The Cellar a 3.5 out of 10. The Cellar comes out on Shudder on April 15th. Again, I'm not going to say I recommend this movie. So if you want a horror movie starring Alicia Cuthbert, definitely go check out House of Wax instead. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. Twice a week I post horror reviews, commentaries, and short recommendations for horror movies you should watch on Netflix and other streaming services. Thanks everyone for watching my review of The Cellar, I'll see you all back next week for a different type of horror video. Bye!